All right, guys. So I'm going for my weigh-in and a meeting. I haven't been to a meeting in a long time. So yeah, so I'm a little like embarrassed, but I always say if you mess up, you just it's never too late to just keep going, right? So that's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna pick myself back up and keep going because I can't give up now. Hey guys, it's like old times. So yeah, I thought I should clarify too. I realized I said I hadn't been here in a while. I haven't been to a meeting in a while, but I've been doing, I have been coming in and getting my, doing my weigh-ins, but not going to the meetings was definitely hurting me. <laughs> so I, yeah, but, um, so this week I only lost point two. I was like, come on. I was, oh, this week was such a struggle too. Like I, I think I struggled for all of those point two of a pound. Like, let, me, let me tell you, I, I just had a really hard week with um, resisting and just, I was just snacky and munchy. And um, I've also been feeling really like bloated and like kind of blah. I mean, and, and, you know, I drink a lot of water and I eat a lot of fruit. And I usually when I'm doing that, I don't really get that way, but I don't know, whatever it was, it, so it is, at least it's not up. So that's good. So since I haven't, okay, so I've been doing this for three months and, um, I have lost a total of 12.2 pounds. That's it. You know, I wish it was more. I know that's still good, but that means I have averaged only four pounds a month. So that doesn't make me happy. So basically I had a whole month where I like all of a sudden just wasn't losing weight. I lost like point I swear like point four like the whole month like sometimes I'd lose a little more but I always put it back on and I and I was started working out I cut soda almost completely out because people were like cut the soda and um and I just drinking water eating fruit like um I cut processed fruit out even like the Weight Watcher food like processed food, I just like was not eating almost any of it um if I had a treat or like I splurged it was well within my points and I accounted for it and I wouldn't pick out about it and I was working out like all the time even at the expense of being tired like I would go at night and work out after I was done editing my vlog for that day and so I was like what is going on I was really frustrating it was hard to stay motivated then I figured it out so um Weight Watchers has two plans for nursing moms the first one is if your baby is just nursing meaning that they're not eating any solid foods yet or and they're not being supplemented and you get a ton of extra points whenever you're doing that. So that's how I started off when I used to do it online. But um, since I've been coming in here, Grayson was older and he was eating, you know, he was um, eating solids and everything. So there's, I got the, the second nursing plan, which gives you extra points, but it's not as many as the full nursing plan. So I've been following that. Well, over the, this summer, the course of this summer, Grayson's been naturally starting to wean. And really, it was um, in July that he's really cut back a lot. And we're naturally weaning. Um, I'm not... I always offer. Um, I never deny him. It's completely natural. But he, on his own, just isn't as interested as he used to be. And a lot of times now, when he nurses, it's so just for comfort or to cuddle like it's not even it's not, he, he likes to he's funny because you know a lot of babies comfort nurse like when they're upset and he does that too a little bit N Grayson actually is more of like a happy nurser it's like a lovey nurser like he'll be giggly and sweet and he'll just want to nurse right then but he only wants to nurse for a couple minutes so it, basically long story short we're not really nursing for substance so I'm not making that much milk anymore there's no way I am not with that so I realized I was having way too many points so um this past, oh, I guess past like couple of weeks, past three or four, not quite a whole month, I, I went in and I took off that I was nursing at all. And over the last few weeks, I've lost the rest of the weight, the other four pounds. So I was definitely eating too much. Um, I was having too much food for what I was doing. So that was, you know, my fault, but at least there was a reason that made me feel a little bit better. Plus, sometimes you guys, you can do everything right and not drop weight. And that I think is whenever it's really hard because you're like, why am I putting in all this effort? And I am being honest because, you know, sometimes we're not honest with ourselves. Sometimes we're not trying as hard as we should, blah, blah, blah. But sometimes you really are and you still don't see your pant size dropping or the numbers changing. And it's just, it's hard. It's, it's a struggle. And, um, you just have to 
persevere, right? So that happens. But in this situation, part of it has, part of this has probably been part of that. Yeah. But the other thing is like, at least part of it is I was just eating too much food for my point value, you know, for my height and everything. So hopefully, you know, it'll just keep going. And one thing, um, I don't really take you guys with me to the gym. I don't take you guys with me to the meetings because it's really, I can't really film in a meeting. That's awkward. And there's all these people around there that don't want me filming, um, even if I'm not filming them. And then filming in the gym, I've done it a couple of times. It's so awkward. <laughs> but Kyle and I were talking about how um, maybe what I should start doing so I can show you guys like when I go to the gym and you can kind of see the consistency or when I'm having, want to just talk about something at the gym or whatever, um, I could just start filming like when I'm going in the car or maybe like, you know, I don't know, to something, just to basically almost as a check-in for myself more than anything. Um, not to really prove anything to anybody, but just as a way to, to be like, you know, all right, I'm going and I'm sharing this experience. <laughs> like, I'm telling everybody. So, there we go. So, yeah, I guess my weight loss tip of the week is to be aware of what's the right amount of food for you. You know, don't... And also be aware of, like, the correct portion of food. You know, it kind of ties in together. Be aware. Aware of what you're eating and how you're eating it and what you're doing. And just be aware. It all comes back to accountability. So, and, um, you know, I had dropped off doing these, as I explained in one of my day in the lives, mainly because I didn't feel like there was a ton of interest. But as it turns out, apparently there was. And honestly... Um, which, cause I just have the nicest people who are like, oh, we would like to, you know, share this with you. So that I was like, I am going to keep doing it. Plus, quite frankly, I think I was doing better when I was sharing these because it made me excited to do well. So for me, it's better to share what I'm doing. It just, it helps. I'm a, I'm a community type of person and I do better when I share my joys and my struggles, my whatever with someone else, you know, and um, I don't have a lot of friends here who are willing to come work out of the gym with me or go to Weight Watchers with me. I don't have those kind of people here in my life. Um, I have lots of good friends here, obviously, but they're not really into working out or they're not into doing Weight Watchers. I was doing it with my sister, but now my sister, her company, um, they have this program where they pay for them to do Weight Watchers. So obviously I don't blame her. She's doing it through her company because then it's free for her. Um, so she goes to the meetings with her company. So I completely understand, but I missed her. Luckily though, um, I, I did find one of my friends here. She is doing Weight Watchers. So I do have a new buddy. Um, I was just going by myself before, but I, I, I just, like I said, I just do better with a friend. I just like having a friend. So I guess what I'm trying to say in like an awkward way is that doing these vlogs kind of makes me feel like I'm doing it with friends. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not by myself and I'm doing this with other people and just, it helps. <laughs> so yeah. All right, you guys, that's it. Down point two. It's better than nothing, right? So hopefully next week I'll do even better and I'll, I'll see another like two pound weight loss next week. That's what my goal is. Hopefully two pounds down next week. So that would be awesome. All right. Bye guys.